Hello guys and welcome back to my channel, welcome to a new vlog. It is currently so sunny in London, it actually feels like summer, it's like 20 degrees outside or something which is just lovely. I feel like London in the sun is a different place, everyone is so much happier. It's just one of my favourite things ever. Anyway, today's vlog, I've actually like filmed snippets here, there and everywhere and I've just decided to put it all together into one big collective vlog. So let's start at the beginning of March before I went skiing and this part of the video is an integrated collaboration with my favourites at Astrid and Mew. You guys know how much I love their jewellery. Their pieces are so beautifully designed and they're amazing quality. So yeah, I'll insert those clips here. Hello guys and good morning. I am just driving to the King's Road to the Astrid and Mew store. I am meeting the team there and also meeting Nads and I'm so excited to see her because I haven't caught up with her in a few weeks time so um that'll be lovely and we're actually getting matching welded friendship bracelets and you might remember from an old vlog I've had the welding done before but I actually got it caught on something and ripped it off which is so annoying and then we're probably gonna get lunch afterwards and I'll do a bit of shopping I need to show you my outfit today because I love it it's like a comfy cozy outfit um just currently driving down one of my favorite bridges in London in fact this is probably my favorite bridge in London I think this is the Albert Bridge um I can't really see on the camera but it's just so pretty and at night it's beautiful we're back together hello, hello. finally I know it's actually been how long like a month yeah. since the Ivy since the Ivy yeah you got yeah. Oh, no. oh, thank oh no thank you again. <laughs> so we're about to have our welding done in Astrid MU we're really excited just gonna pick out the colors and the charms and everything and yeah we're gonna go so matching cute. or yeah I think same but different yeah same but different yeah, yeah. Cute. cute. Okay, so here are all of the options you get. There's silver, <laughs> that's over there, filming me. There's silver, gold, and rose gold, and these are all of the different options. And then you can also choose a charm, which is really cool. So they have birthstones and like initials and stuff. So I think I'm gonna go for, um, I don't know, I quite like this one because it's a little bit chunkier. Yeah, I like it, it's good. Um, and then, yeah, probably just the same as Nads. I think, like a K and then my birthstone. I well, they are on it's camera, like really but they're tiny. Well. Um, yeah. So I think I'm gonna go for the green, even though it's not my birthstone. I just yeah. think it's so gorgeous with the gold. forward three weeks and I'm back here again um, I didn't show you guys a very good close-up in the store of my new welded bracelet so here's what it looks like up close I think it's so gorgeous and then I also selected some bits whilst I was in the store so I thought I'd do a quick try on haul for you guys I'll start off with this necklace I have had so many compliments since wearing this and I just love it so much you guys know me anything personalized with an initial on it I'm just drawn to um and they've recently released these beautiful gold necklaces with initials and then you can have a little diamond as well or you can just have them plain and um i obviously just got a k but i also thought this would be really nice like if you had a boyfriend or a girlfriend you could have their initial there as well and i just think that's really really pretty and then i also picked up a new little stack and i always mix up my stack so you guys know this so i'm going to zoom you in these two here are again new additions from astrid and mew and this is like a little double huggy hoop and I just thought it's so cute. I really love like the irregular circle. And then it's got a matching cuff as well. And cuffs are really good because you don't need a piercing for cuffs. So if you want to like elevate your stack without getting loads of new piercings, these are perfect. Um, and I've just paired them with some old Astrid Amu huggies that I've already owned. And then another new release is this range here. And it's got a bracelet and a necklace. And it's like this double chain and then a single chain. And I think this is so cool. I absolutely love the fastening as well, it's quite chunky and um, more of a statement. And then there's also a matching necklace to this range. So together, paired, this will just really tie in a look. I feel like an all black look with these two, which is like amazing. And then the last thing I picked up is this gorgeous gold pendant kind of drop necklace. And um, this would actually look really nice layered with the case. I put this on now. So this is a bit of a longer chain and it is adjustable. Um, what I really like about Astrid Me Jewelry is how with the chain, I don't know if you can see, it's not like a chain at the end, it's just like three little adjustable holes. Because sometimes with the chain, you know when it goes round to the front, you've got like an awkward little chain dangling, I feel like that can 
um, sometimes ruin a necklace. So I love the way that they do that. I'm gonna put this on the longest. Should I put it on the longest? Maybe like there, second to longest. Oh yeah, those two set together is actually perfect. I really like that. Balance each other out really well. New jewelry just makes me so happy. I feel like I can never have enough. I love mixing up all the time. And without it, I feel completely weird and naked. Okay, so let's move on to the next part of the video, which is really exciting because Yaz and I were invited to the premiere of Bridgerton, which was honestly such a crazy experience and we both just felt so lucky to be invited but honestly guys i've never really been to anything quite like that before um, i've been to things like awards before but never a premiere and i was so nervous going because i really didn't know what to expect and i'm not gonna lie i actually felt quite anxious going to this event the imposter syndrome was so real i was like why am i here what am i doing and i just didn't know what to expect at all but it's the kind of thing where if you get invited i mean there's not like a, you're obviously gonna go do you know what i mean you're not gonna turn that kind of thing down but it actually just turned out so well i'm not gonna lie it was so so rushed that day was completely non-stop we were um running around london left right and center getting ready so filming was quite hard so there's lots of like little gaps but um i filmed what i can for you guys so i'll pop that bit in here hello guys so it's now a few weeks later on in the future what's this oh it's just the light um i am in a different setting as you can see i'm actually staying in the kimpton again because tonight we've got such an exciting event that is room service one moment Hi. Oh, perfect. Yeah, we've got such an exciting event tonight. So we're going to the Bridgerton premiere. And this is my first ever, like, proper premiere. We've got, like, these amazing dresses. Um, we were trying them on in the shop yesterday. I'll put in some clips. Okay, this is dress option no, number okay. one. It's this lovely sparkly number. Really, really gorgeous. Mm -hmm. And look at Yasmin over here. I know, I know. Full on ah. princess. Yas? Oh, you look like Lily James and Cinderella right now. I love it. Love it, love it, love it. Oh my god, we look like little Disney princesses. Yeah. I am obsessed with this dress. It has pockets as well. I think this is the dress that Yaz is going to go for that I'm wearing. And I'm going to try this one on this now. One. Yeah. Swapsies? Yeah, swapsies. Definitely. What kind of options do you like? Do you like sparkles? Okay, and then I'm just going to try on this green oh, one. Okay, so we're now Amazing matching. It will weigh a lot less. So imagine and then we're in this really nice room in the Kimpton. Haven't been in this one before. Um, but it's just so nice. We have like lots of natural light here. Our, our dresses. We've got Yaz here getting her makeup done. And then my favourite um, bathrooms in London, which are, look at this, insane. Um, the amount of natural light in this bathroom is making me very happy. But look at the shower. Imagine having your little morning shower with this view of the park in London, just amazing. Okay guys, it was a mad rush to get ready. <laughs> Um, so these are our outfits, both from Dresses, dresses to party. Go. Oh, dress party. Dress party, okay. Yeah. They were very last minute, and they were honestly amazing, like the two most amazing women ever. They were so incredible. Trying to get dresses, yeah. yeah. This lighting is not, it's not, it's not amazing. <laughs> so, <it's English. laughs> showcasing the bold and dynamic world of Regency London. Okay, so we're gonna get unready for the evening, take the makeup off. So we did a little zap delivery earlier because we forgot my makeup bag and my makeup wipes. Kate forgot her makeup bag and makeup wipes. Yeah, and zap is the best thing. You can order anything from it. So I ordered some face holos, which is what I used to remove my makeup. And um, I really, really don't wanna get out of this dress. It's making me so yeah, sad. This is the dress that's like, Oh, you're really doing it, aren't you? You're really shit in the street. And she's like this, and her whole dress is just like puffy around her. Oh. You know the dress I'm you at, right? No. Wow. Bridesmaids. I can't believe you didn't get that reference straight off the <laughs> Sorry. Very upsetting for me. 
Tonight was a very nerve-wracking experience. Like, I don't normally get nervous for events, but I was quite nervous tonight just because I had no idea what to expect. I thought we were, like, I thought we were very overdressed before we turned up, and I was just like, this could be so embarrassing if we turn up in, like, basically prom dresses. Like, you're not on a straight bag, so that's... <laughs> it was absolutely fine, obviously. We weren't overdressed, and we had the best evening, and then just like, there's lots more of this to come. Um, I just don't want to get out of my dress. I don't want to remove my makeup. But the plan tomorrow is to get up, have some nice breakfast in the room, and then I think we're gonna go shoot an outfit and um, head home, really. Good morning. Our breakfast has just arrived. I've got eggs quarantine. Yes, has got Cocoa Pops in true Jasmine style. And then pan chocolate and about five. I love the multitude of breakfasts. And this is our view, it's so beautiful. So beautiful. A new day and we are checking out the hotel. I'm feeling a bit tired this today, I don't know why. Yeah, we didn't um, drink last night really. Not really, I mean we went to bed at like 1.30, that's probably why. Yeah, we did actually, we were up at seven. Yeah, but at least we're not hungover. No. Um, and yeah, we're just now going to return the dresses oh, that we I loaned, return the show part jewelry that we loaned, and um, be off. Hello guys, it's a little bit later on. I'm just um, in therapy clinic about to get my laser hair removal. I've got a little outfit change on. I've got this caramel and top on. Topshop trousers, Celine belt. Um, I've got to be in a bit rushed, so I'm a bit out of breath. And then I've also brought like my laptop and everything so I can do a bit of work afterwards. <laughs> Work. We're out of by San Carlo, just got our starter, which is pumpkin ravioli. Got these nice little cocktails as well. What did you think of that? What did you rate it out of 10, Bob? Yeah, it was really yummy. It was really good this time, actually. Yeah. The pasta felt like really authentic. Yeah, it is really yummy, but it is really expensive. Yeah, it's very expensive, quite overpriced. Yeah. And the service is never really great in there, is it? No, but the vibe is nice. Yeah, like, it's really good vibe. Stuff. Yeah, it's really cool. Okay, so now the plan is to have a little mix around Selfridges. I am on the hunt for a new bikini. So um, go up to Contemporary Women's. I think it's on floor three, isn't it? Yeah. Guys, I am now home. I'm about to run a bath. That's not true, I'm running a bath. Also, side note, two people came up to me in the street today and said that I had really nice hair. And I've actually been using the Philip Kingsley Maximizer. And it gives you so much volume. I mean, it's got a little bit more flat now because i've just had it back in a ponytail um but it's like a spray you put into your roots when your hair is wet and it gives you so much body on your hair and it holds your curls really well too like i haven't curled my hair i curled my hair really early this morning and it's still um obviously really curly I'm running my bath and i've also got clean fresh bed sheets on so i'm really looking forward to getting into bed tonight and yeah i shall see you guys in the morning Hello guys and good morning. It is Friday. Happy Friday. Also, my hair. I haven't done anything to it this morning. Literally woke up like this. Philip Kingsley Maximizer is a game changer. I'm actually just tanning and I thought I've never actually done a tanning routine for you guys, which is so odd because I always get asked for it and I tan once a week. So I figured I would just do it while I'm doing it now. I've applied one layer already and honestly, I mix up the tans I use a lot. Um... Like, I've got loads of favourites, basically. This one I'm really enjoying at the moment is the Saint Tropez Express. So I've done one layer, and now I'm just going to do the other layer. I also, before applying, smother myself in moisturiser. This is my favourite at the moment. This is the Beauty Pie Super Healthy Skin. Um, it's honestly, it just feels so luxurious. I love it. Another tip as well is I only tan on really fresh skin. So I had lazy yesterday, which meant that I had no tan on my skin whatsoever. So completely fresh, but make sure like every inch of like dead skin is off of me. Um, products that really help with that are um, like physical exfoliators. I also use the Ameliorite um, moisturiser, which has AHA, so that will really help to um, get the dead skin off, basically, and leave you a fresh skin. And then, literally, just apply it all over in circular motions. So, whatever is left on the mitt, I will just um, buff it into my hand 
using a little bit of this side, which, which is the side of tan on, and then the side that doesn't have any tan on, I use that just to buff it in. Um, so it looks nice and even, basically. Normally I'd be doing this naked, but I have to put on a bikini for the sake of this video. And then we let it dry for a bit, and then if I feel like I need to go in with another layer, go in with another layer. So this has a guide colour, but it's quite a developing kind of tan, so this will go darker throughout the day and depending on how long you leave it is how dark it will go. So I'm gonna leave this on until maybe like five o'clock this evening when I need to go out. I'll just wash it off in the shower. And then for the face, I use this. I tend to use this every day, but I haven't used it this week so much. Um, this is really nice because it's such a fine mist. Again, this is, again, this is Saint Tropez. Okay, I'm now just getting ready doing my makeup and I have to show you this new mascara that I found and I absolutely love it. Well, actually, it's not new. I used to use this. If you remember, back in the day when I started YouTube, this is my go-to mascara. It's a before and after. Like, how insane. And it's really cheap as well. It's like £10. Oh, and I've also got a code as well. I think it's Kate H 15 um, this is the mascara. I'll have it linked down below. Oh, it's just so good. And oh my god, I have to show you another amazing purchase that I've made. I'm gonna do my mascara and then I'm gonna show you. It's insane. Okay, so this is what it is, and it looks a bit weird. It looks a bit like a label gun, um, but it's basically a stitcher, um, like a temporary stitch. It's called a micro stitch, and I saw this on TikTok, and it's been sold out for ages. I finally got my hands on it. And basically, what it does is it stitches anything kind of like a stapler but for clothes so like say you've got some trousers that are too big and you don't have time to get them tailored you just stitch it with this and it's literally just one stitch insane i've used this so much since getting it you can also get black stitches i've got white in at the moment and it's just a little like lifesaver so i'm gonna have this link down below as well Oh, it looks like I've got foundation lips. I actually do have foundation lips, but um, let's ignore that for now. Plan for today, this morning, I've just been doing some really boring work, like paying my tax bills and uh, going through emails, stuff like that. And then I've got a hair appointment in an hour or so. Um, I actually really like the color of my hair at the moment. And I feel like this always happens when you're having a good hair day or like a good hair week. It's like the week that you're booked in to go to the hairdressers. Um, so now I'm really second guessing myself um, but I just wanted to get a trim basically just to like feel a bit more fresh and um, yeah but saying that I'm actually loving the length of it so I'm like oh, why, why have I booked it in um, and I was also going to get a toner on it so I'm like why did I do, why did I do this but I guess it could be a little bit more like ashy so um, yeah I'm going to go there later and then I've also got some stories to film for an ad this morning oh my god yeah and it's my birthday this weekend I'm going to be 25 um, so that's quite exciting. I have kind of like spread out the birthday arrangement. So I had a weekend last weekend with my family in Brighton. So mum, dad, brother, and my nan, we all like, um, we had some lunch together. Then I went out for dinner with my mum and my dad. So it's been really nice. And then this weekend, I actually haven't properly made any plans. I really don't enjoy my own birthday. I find it really, I don't know. It just gives me, it gives me weird vibes and I don't know if it's because like there's a lot of pressure around it or like the expectations around it but I just don't like my own birthday so I like kept it really quiet and I kind of hoped that no no one would say anything but obviously your friends are going to be like hey what are we doing for your birthday? I've just booked us a lunch tomorrow so just gonna go for lunch and probably some drinks or something afterwards very low-key and casual um so that's just me and some of my girlfriends and then on my actual birthday probably just go for brunch I'm not really sure probably just yeah eating drinking good food good wine and um nothing nothing too crazy really i haven't even ordered an outfit which is very unlike me i might do a the good thing about being in london you can do zara same day delivery and you can do net a porte my Teresa same day delivery so i'm gonna have a look on there see if there's anything nice i always get myself a birthday present and this year i haven't so i'm thinking maybe i'll treat myself to like a nice outfit um yeah i don't really know oh another thing i'm doing for my birthday as well i love how i say i don't like my birthday but i've been doing i'm doing like four different things um my mum's coming to london on monday and we go to fortnum and mason for like nice <laughs> Blunt cut 
and then some framing face hairs. Um, didn't do anything to the colour, just a purple shampoo. Hello guys, I'm back from the hairdressers. I, um, I mean, it doesn't look too different really, does it? But I'm happy anyway. Um, but I got back to the most lovely surprise from Chopin. He sent me a lovely bouquet of flowers and I had no idea they were planning on this. So it really brightened up my day. And honestly, I just find it crazy that brands like Chopin want to like even know me. So uh, it means so much to me. On the slightly less glamorous side of things, another thing that's arrived is, is a huge clothing rail. I'm gonna show you the state of the rail. I'll take my headphone out. Um, that is in the, in the, in the launch. Am I okay? Um, that's in the hallway. It's on its last legs. It's about to collapse. This is the state of it. Um, and like, honestly, if you push it a little bit, like it's about to keel over. So, um, I'm going to build this other one and, um, hopefully it's going to be better. It's like a heavy duty one. This other one is just from Ikea. So... look how much better this is now i mean i can't you can't really tell on camera so much but it felt so chaotic here before and now like everything's in order so yeah i'm pretty happy i'll link this rail down below it's a very good size um and definitely feels very sturdy as well hello guys and good morning we've got the gang together like two favorite girls why's my hair like this <laughs> you look lovely yeah, you're nice. um so it's my pre-birthday celebrations today. We have a really nice day planned. We're going to Scots mm. for lunch. Um, all really dressed up. We've got dresses on, we've got yeah. heels on, and um, it's gonna be a great day. So we're going to Scots and then we're gonna go for drinks, maybe Notting Hill to yeah. be confirmed. Um, and you guys are gonna come with us. Yeah, on our little girls out. Arrived. I've got aubergine, Yaz has chicken, B has a beetroot salad, and we've also got some chips. Thank you. Thank you so much. Okay, so we moved from lunch and now we are in Gold, Notting Hill. Um, we just had a bit of champagne and now we're off to meet some friends in Soho. So we're kind of like dotting all around London. Love to see but, um, it. Having a great time, are we little Yasmino? Oh, little Yasmino comes. Um, B is upstairs and um, just holding up my makeup. Holding up the, 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 the Ford, exactly. We're taking it in shifts, aren't we? So we're five minutes in the Uber. No, 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 let's start this again. So five minutes in the Uber. Do <laughs> Why are right? So we're five minutes in the, the car. And I've already had my nose in Yasmin's armpits and Yasmin's just bought out an amazing fact. Do you want to share it with the, with so, the audience? If you wear a pumpkin scent, then it makes guys get an instant boner. <laughs> I just don't think that's true. Right, I've got it off TikTok, it must be true. Um, Can you back me on this? TikTok, it must be true. Never lied. Can I please yeah. borrow some powder? I'm looking very shiny. Yeah, I'm so like that. I'm, look at this. <laughs> look at the colour difference between us. Yeah. Yes, it's very tanned. Yeah, very naturally tanned. Luckily, lucky for her. Look who I'm with. Wait, is it out of focus? Well, it's like a big reveal because it's like. And here she is. I'm back with Millie. <laughs> Little reunion. So cute. Last time you were in the vlog was bunnies. Bunnies about a year ago. Yeah. A year ago. So back together. So fun. Sometimes. <laughs> Look at him. Looking so suave in his little. Two piece set, we love it. <laughs> so, we've come to Charlotte Street Hotel and it's just so happens to be we're in like a private room by accident. Also, got the girls here, of course, and we've got the lovely M as well. So, do you mind being in the vlog? Is that okay? <laughs> um, but we somehow managed to end up on this humongous table. And as is, um, <laughs> what have you got to say? 
Oh, is this like a Balenciaga on toast kind of situation? This is, or? This is a Balenciaga on toast situation. <laughs> this is the reaper versions yeah. of Balenciaga on toast. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. It's a giant. We love yeah. it. Something one, wine. Uh, we're going to go for bubbles. <laughs> <laughs> you need to bring it back. <laughs> it was like the highlight of my week. Yeah. <laughs> okay, guys, right, so we're on to the next place. We're in Nikita. And these bathrooms are insane but yeah we're just meeting some more friends good morning guys oh why am i blurry oh you're blurring girl um it's my birthday I just like my <laughs> we, <laughs> we had such a good night oh, um, it was so much fun yeah very fun. and we're celebrating my birthday now so i'm quite excited can i do you want me to hold the camera okay so they've just given me this Because we can't, because we can't find the card, lol. I'm really excited. <clears throat> oh. Right, they need to come this way because the lighting's really bad. Okay. So we can do that again. So they just give me this. They just give me this. It says, dear little Bobby, we are taking you to Rome. Happy birthday, little pickle. Love you lots. Being yeah, it's on the oh. yeah. <laughs> I can't oh. remember the date though. July second. July second. July second. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. So cute. Oh, guys. Oh, thank you. Oh, no, again. Oh, not again. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> the girls are going out for a hangover brunch. So all on very different vibes. I'm looking quite like yeah. normal. Yaz is looking very cash and B is looking very cool. Very grunge. Grungy. Yeah, this is actually, this is, this is the only vibe for me today. Yeah. Our quest for brunch was very unsuccessful, guys. It's obviously Mother's Day, so like everything's fully booked. Um, so yeah, we're just ordering a delivery at home and um, we're just chilling out. And then I'm going to Soho Farmhouse in a bit, which is quite exciting. So I'm going with um, a couple of friends um, to continue the birthday celebration. So that'd be really nice. So yeah, I think I'm gonna wrap this vlog up here because um, I don't think you can really film much in Soho Farmhouse anyway. So I'm um, gonna drive. Oh my, oh my god, Opal is just stealing. <laughs> yeah, it's been toast. Opal, don't eat that. It's not for you. Thank you. No, a bit more. No! <laughs> Opal! <laughs> Literally, I'm like. <laughs> oh, look at this little paw. I would let you have some, but your mummy won't let me. I'm really sorry. Toast is not good for bunny rabbits. Oh, that's good to know. I won't feed them toast ever again. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway guys, I really hope you enjoyed this video. I love you all so, so, so much. I'm wishing you all a fabulous week and I will see you next time. Bye. Mwah.